Hello and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. Oh man. As you can tell, still sick, and I know I said I was gonna record all this shit on Christmas, but. Or at least the rest of this shit on Christmas, but. Alas, I did not, because I am a jerk. I am a jerk. So, last time we did Mad Monster Mansion, was it? And we, uh. When we got out, we turned into a pumpkin, and we uh, basically went into the little shack that was by Mad Monster Mansion, and we turned, we actually raised the water level in the uh, Rusty Bucket Bay area of the, um, you know, lair, which is right in here. So, now the water's raised up a little bit. We still can't do anything in here from the water level being raised, but we can do stuff in here, which is exactly where we want to be. Because <laughs> this is where our next world is. Oh boy. Let's swim up here. Ugh. I thought I had it, man. I thought I had it. I thought I was had it. Here's the uh, entrance to Rusty Bucket Bay, but as you can see, we haven't found the puzzle yet, so. We don't even know how to open the world yet, but do not fear. There's a water level 2 switch. <laughs> so, now we can get up to there. And that is going to be definitely helpful because that is where the puzzle for Rusty Bucket Bay is. <laughs> nice. Got another shortcut. It's always good. Probably going to record the rest of this today. I mean, it's my day off. Still sick, trying to get over it. But yeah, all is well that ends well. I'm going to BlizzCon. <laughs> Never mind. So let's bust out this thing and go in here. There's a whole bunch of cago. And a puzzle for Rusty Bucket Bay. Oh yeah. Your butt. Thanks, Grunty. Thanks. Glad I, you know came in here to hear you say your butt maybe if she said your a butt maybe I would have been more inclined to do something with that anyways you could go this way but literally there's nothing down there it's just a death trap of a really long swimming hallway that has nothing at the end of it so let's get this party started by doing rusty bucket bay and the entrance of the world is underwater so that's going to tell you already one thing about how terrible this world is Oh boy, oh boy. So basically this world is just a giant boat in a bay. Or in, yeah, kind of this enclosed space. And you have all this dock surrounding it, so... We're going to be doing the dock area first. Kind of not so much going on the boat. Just for a start. So if we put four in there after the two, this comes out a little farther. And that's going to be one of your main gimmicks of this world, is finding those things. Man, we're going to need a lot more Mumbo Tokens than that. I'll tell you what. So you come to this area. There's a Jinjo out there on a buoy, but we can't really do much about him just yet. Well, actually we could. We could jump out there and swim to him. But something special about this uh, world is the water in here is uh, all oily. So, well, Grunty's going to explain. My oily water in your plunge, you'll lose air while in that glunge. Basically, you lose air even when you're on the surface of it. So just being around this water or being remotely close to it, you're going to be losing air. And then when you're underwater, you'll breathe your last because air is used twice as fast. So yeah, your air is used, well, twice as fast when you're underwater, let alone above water, using it at the normal rate. So you can already see where the pains of this world are beginning. And there is stuff underwater that we're going to have to get later, but not right now. <laughs> it's Rusty Fuck It Bay. What can I say? Michael Bay movie. Alright, let's bust out this window and go dancing in here. So we're going to come out on top here. These crates. And there's a Jiggy simply up here to your left. 
I don't know if they expect you to miss that or something. I don't know. It's probably your easiest jig in the world you're going to get. So, that's our first one. Let's keep on trucking up here. Oh, he got me. No, damn it. And then I fall down here and this guy gets me. It's like, way to get out of the frying pan and into the shitter. Anyways, we got notes in here that we gotta pick up up there. Yeah, took care of your ass before you can get mine. I'm not liking how low of health I have already. That is not okay. That is not cool. Don't worry, we'll pick up some health later. Whoa, don't fall off there. Okay, I'm freaking out now. Let's jump over to this one. And... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, can I get out the way I came in? But then I was like, wait, I came in through the roof. Odds are I'm probably not going to be able to. So if you go out through... What is that noise? Why, it's a dolphin. Being crushed by an anchor. I'm trapped. Help, get this thing off. Snorkel. So if you, sw if you swim up into the anchor chamber, you'll find... Uh, the way to help this guy. I mean, look at this hallway. Just bad news waiting to happen. I need to get my timing down on those guys because I'm screwing that up lately. Yeah! Get rid of the sailors. The sailors? Oh dear. It's the sailors. Don't even question why, why and how I just said that. Obviously, the anchor switch frees the dolphin. Thanks, guys. I found this earlier. It's yours. And he shits a jiggy. So we're going to go pick up that poop stain jiggy. And we're going to use it. Use it to our advantage. And don't worry. You're never going to have to come in here ever again. So it's always nice. Ah, we're stuck. Okay, there we go. <laughs> One thing you do not want to do is get stuck underwater in this game, or in this world, because it can quickly kill you, as you can see. Let's get out of here. You know what I'm going to do? Whoa, stop jumping, dude. Get your shit straight. And stop saying dude. You sound like a hippie or one of those people who doesn't care about hygiene. Or someone who should care about hygiene but doesn't. TNT crates, you'll see those as your enemies often. Oh, and this is the only world with a boss in it. I guess you could say that he's kind of the mini boss of the entire game because there's the final boss and then there's the mini boss, which this guy's the only other boss in the game. And or is he, he's the only other enemy in the game that people consider a boss. And you get a jiggy out of beating him. But yeah, it's just, it's weird because he's not officially a boss, but you know, people claim him a boss, and I guess he is the mini boss of the game then. <laughs> Man, when I talk in too long of spurts like that, my nose gets all clogged and jibber jabber a bunch of shit you don't want to hear because you don't want to hear about my nose, you want to hear about the game and how awesome it is. Well, not this world, I'll tell you that much, this world is far from awesome. <laughs> In case you haven't guessed it by now, Clinker's Cavern is my second um, least favorite world, and this is my least favorite world. I just hate this place. Then again, it's commonly a lot of people's uh, least favorite, or a lot of players' least favorite. Oh shit, and we fell in the acid. Okay, let's get out of there. And our green Jinjo. We're picking up more Jinjos than Gangbusters. I don't know how many... Jinjo's gangbusters has, but let me tell you, they do not got as much as us. <laughs> Man, I've had the biggest urge to play Banjo Tooie this entire week, which is obviously the sequel to this game. Wait, before we jump up on this thing, yeah, there's another toll thing back here. Let's pay the toll, man. I forgot if this is the other one you can 
pay double for. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. Never mind. There's that first one where you pay two and then you pay four and it goes up. There's another one in the world, but I forgot where or what number it is. Okay, so we're picking up more notes in here. I guess that's all. I guess that's the only purpose that this broom serves. This little container. Oh, and a mumbo token. Hell, I'll accept the mumbo tokens. We're going to need them for the last world. There's no transformation in this one, but the last one's pretty expensive. Mm, can't enter that one. Can enter this one, though. Let's see what we got. Dib it a bop. Okay, this is the one I was thinking of. Oh, we got some notes. I was not expecting that. I forgot there were notes in here. Ah! I'll poop on you. Don't tempt me. I'll poop on you. Hell yeah. So, this room, you just got all these TNT crates. What I like to do is just Wonder Wing. Kill them all. Pretty simple, and then you get an extra life for it. Normally, I would recommend just not even bothering, but yeah, I was just showing you that because not a lot of people know about that. <laughs> and the th middle one, we enter through the ceiling. Okay, I know there's a Jinjo in here. And I think that's a... yeah, there he is. Back there behind some boxes, so you really gotta look for him. I remember one time when I was playing through this game, oh my god, that ginger took me like hours to find. I was just like in here for like 20 minutes, like at a time, just going, like, Where the fuck is he? <laughs> and then I'd stop playing, then I'd come back and I still wouldn't be able to find him, and I'd get more frustrated. Oh, the childhood memories of Rusty Bucket Pay. No, I didn't want to fall in there. So we can't cross that yet because the toll's on the other side. Which means we're officially going to board the ship. Or as I like to call it, the shit. It's actually called the Rusty Bucket. The, the Rusty Bucket is the name of the boat, not really the bay in which we're in. This is probably the Bay of Pigs or something. So, we got an up and a down arrow. And the down arrow is already pressed and the up arrow is not. So let's press it. Raises the crate. There's a jiggy in there. But watch out. There's a time limit. Uh-oh. You know what that means, kids. Pool party. No, not really. Just means we got to run our asses off. So let's make sure we jump, fall. Boom. No. Oh, it's mine. We did it. Good thing it doesn't, like, close on you. No, it does, but, yeah. 16. So, if you see these darker color ones, yeah, those are alive on the boat. And then these lighter ones aren't alive, but you can actually hop in them. They take you to rooms like this. And this is the kitchen, apparently. I want that mumbo token. It's worth it. Ow. Stupid bear, you'll have to learn. That red-hot ovens tend to burn. Yeah, anything that's red and glowing in this room, just don't touch it. Especially not that part where it's all like a bunch of soups and shit. We got eggs in the fridge, but don't call me an egg fridge. Did anyone ever really watch the Andy Milanakis show? All I remember was the one episode of him, and he was like, he was looking for something to drink, and he had a cactus, and he was crawling around his apartment looking for something to drink. And he has a cactus, and the cactus is green, of course. And he breaks it open, and there's water in it. And, or well, he was with a friend, and the friend breaks open the green cactus, and there's water in it, and he drinks it all. Or Andy Milnakis does, and then his friend has the other one. And then, one of them pulls out a brown cactus, and it's just like, what? And he breaks open the brown cactus, and there's chocolate milk inside and I was always like that is I don't know that's the only thing I remember from the Andy Milnakis show 
man. My nose is getting plugged up, making me sound weird. <laughs> Probably should have took some NyQuil before this. I think this is three, uh, one, two, one, one, one. Yep. Gets us a jiggy. How do I know that combination? Well, from years of playing. Well, actually it is here in the level. It's on the side of the boat. We'll probably see it soon. And you just read the combination and put two and two together and know, oh, wait, three, two, one, 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 one. Well, might as well go put that in up there. See if it does anything. These windows that are kind of jutting out, you can actually break as you saw me do a few minutes ago. Oh, and that music. You know what that means. There's a jiggy in here. That's not what that music means. Music means that this is another area where there was a stop and swap egg back in the day. And it was right here on the bed. Got a picture of the rusty bucket when it was actually sailing out in the ocean. Wonder Wings, which we'll use later. I want to get 10 of those, but they're kind of rare. I've been kind of like using them all willy-nilly like, and I shouldn't have been. So let's jump down to this level. That guy's alive, so we're going to jump over to this one opposite of him. Let's see if this one is. Or see what's in here. It's a Wonder Wing right in between those two pipes. There's also a Mumbo Token. I generally advise not going down to the floor in this room, because it's full of those boombox guys, and they're just... Yeah, they explode, as you just saw that guy do. And no, I'm not explaining that, because... Never mind. N never mind, I was trying to be funny, and it didn't work out so well. Yeah, see. It's generally a pain in the ass to have to do all this jumping on the pipes to get out of here. Okay, let's get out. Alrighty. Any more windows on this side we could break? No. Alright then. 59. What's my name? Shifty5. My IQ, Shifty5. Yeah, I like the noise those guys make when you kill them. It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the most obnoxious thing I've done to date on my LPs. So I got this giant box of TNT here. We're gonna climb up the rope and do nothing about it. And on that, you got a Gruntilla switch. This is kind of a hard jump. Oh boy. Yeah, see, we barely made that. A lot of people fail at that. And it makes a jiggy appear in the ice cavern area. You might be like, well, where the hell is that? Well, it's, you probably know where it's at. Never mind, you didn't ask that. You aren't wondering that. 20, that's a good number for this world. Because we still got all the mumbo tokens in the last world. A whole bunch of notes on the back of the ship. A rare flag. The orange Jinjo off in the distance that we can't get to yet. And a mumbo token in the boat. Mumbo token in the boat, you know. Don't matter, he toked. So this is the one that we're going to take. The darker one on the back side is the one you take. And this leads to one of the more important rooms in this level. We got a fan switch with four notes surrounding it. So we're going to hit that. It's going to stop the engines slightly. I had to scratch my ear, sorry about that. But yeah, now the engines and the fans in there stop slightly, which makes them actually passable. And you probably saw the jiggy in there, and you're wondering, well, where is that? Well, how do we get down to the engine room, you're wondering? We'll probably do that in the next episode if I don't get all this episode in one. For now, we're actually going to go fight the boss. So if we hop up here, we can actually go across here. We don't need that because we now have ten Wonder Wings. We're actually going to hop up and hit the switch because we don't have a time limit on this one. We blow a gigantic hole in the top of the ship, which is never generally a good idea, but for the rusty bucket, why not? Let's jump off and pay the toll. 
That's how we now have a way to get across. Granted, we won't really need these anymore because now we've... Now it's kind of like we've officially done everything there is to do on the outside of the world. After this, so... No, never mind. I don't think there is anyone like the first one where if you put double in it, it makes the pathway easier. Never mind. Then scratch what I said about the whole putting double eggs in those things. Oh, and there's our last Jinjo, too. Jeez, I didn't even realize we had them all. Holy smokes. Picking them up like gangbusters. Oh, man, I was going to check my timer at five jiggies. I didn't even know we had that much jiggies, either. I'm going through this world a lot faster than I thought I would. <laughs> yeah, recently I had a playthrough of this with my friends, and we all played through it in one night. And, um... We were switching off on levels. And when I got to Rusty Bucket Bay, I was like, Oh my god, this is going to take forever. And it really didn't. It took, like, no time at all. And I was like, what the fuck? Is Rusty Bucket Bay easier than I thought it was? Anyways, let's go down here and fight the boss. Oh no! It's a giant boombox. Who dares enter boss boombox's hold? I've hidden my jigsaw. You'll never get it. Well, not if we use Wonder Wing. You can easily kick this guy's ass, and the gimmick is that he splits up into two smaller ones every time you kill a copy of him. Now you just got a whole bunch of mini ones at the end. Kill the last one, boom. Arg, you've splintered me! Take this! I didn't want it, really. Yeah, sure, that's what they all say about the Jiggies. No one really ever wanted it, really, but... Yeah. Meow. Okay, I should check my timer, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna do that right now. Hold on. What time are we up to, Master Mike Mixer? Are uh, we up to 22 minutes there, good sir? Okay, then, this is gonna be the end of episode one. Why am I still talking like that, dude? What's wrong with you? Alright, so this is gonna be the end of the first part of Rusty Fuck It Bay, and I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you for watching, this has been Wee Neo and my sick ass self. Maybe I'll drink some NyQuil make this all make my nasal stuffiness go away you know. Because when I talk like this, it doesn't make for good sound recording. Anyways, bye bye. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. This has been Leo Neo, as you know. Boopa doopa scoop.